everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting Demons of Slanesh. We are painting the Demonettes. Yes, the lowliest of the Slaneshi demons. And, well, I'm very excited to do this because this is all part of my tale of many War Hipsters. So if you'd like to know more about that, check it out here on YouTube. But without further ado, we're going to jump right in and start painting it. That's right, it. And... Uh, <laughs> The, uh, it's been primed in grace here, and the first color we're going to be using is a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part shayish purple. We want it really thin, and so you can even sometimes push it a little bit further than six, maybe seven or eight parts. And what we want to do is we want to just start painting this shayish purple mix all over all of our skin. Now, and I know I started there with our thumb, with my thumb, and said all of our skin. What I mean is the demonette skin, rather than your own skin. You don't want to sit and hold a demonette whilst you paint your own skin. But <laughs> it's a very confusing beginning. I'm using my thumb there as a little extra palette just to wipe off the excess. I don't have too much of this on my brush when I'm doing this. And it's because the paint's very, very, very thin and I don't want to accidentally start with too much on my brush when I come to paint it. It's a little bit trickier to just lift the paint off, but what we're going for is this kind of smooth purple all over our flesh. Just like this. We do want to do this all over all of the skin. There's a lot of lovely, nice blends. We're going to be doing a little bit later. But we do just want to do this all over areas like these big old claws. Like this, just going nice and smooth. And that lovely consistency. So with that shayish purple layer applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Magos purple. I'm going to use this to do a couple of things. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this to paint in the hair. So we're just going to grab some on our brush and we're just going to start painting this all over all of the demonette's hair. Now, some of them don't have hair, so you won't need to do this stage. And some of them do have hair, so you will need to do this stage like this. We just want to make sure that we work it into all of those areas. Just like that. And of course, we want to do front and back. So we'll just finish off the front before moving on. Just like that. Then what we also want to do is we want to use this Magos purple on any of their claws and on any of their feet. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of blending. So on the claws, what we're going to do is just going to paint this over the top of that shayish purple. That we've just done, like so. And of course, front and back, like that. Whereas on the legs, what we're gonna do, is just gonna take a little bit of this off the brush. We just wanna paint it up to around about underneath the knee, like that. And we just wanna go all the way around. Like so. 
Okay, we've got it all covered like that. Then what we do is we wash the brush and then we just take a clean brush and just where the colors meet, we just go back and forth like that. Just to smooth out that transition just a little bit. Just like that. So you get this nice kind of fade from the dark to kind of Magos purple into the Shaiish purple, just like that. So you just want to go around like this, finishing her off, and then we'll come back. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some black Templar. I'm going to use this to colour in a number of different areas. So firstly, what we want to do is we want to use this to colour in all of the kind of leather, which they have. And they've got, some of them have got some kind of like metallic areas and really these could be anywhere that you want. I'm gonna for example on this demonette the kind of outline or the edging of the corset is gonna be metallic. The inner area is gonna be this kind of leather. Similarly on the back I'm just gonna do this bit. Here has the same black. Like so. Similarly, we also want to use this on all the other bits of leather and armor around the model. So for example, on this one, got this bit here. Like that. And this bit here. We're also going to do this Black Templar over the tabard here. And we're also going to do it on any of the kind of claws and things and little kind of protrusions. So we've got areas like that one there on the knee. There like that. We've got the ones here on the foot as well, like that. We've also got this one here. On the claw hand. Like that. And this one here as well. So, and then lastly, in terms of the black, we've also got the eyes. Like that, and the teeth, and open mouth. just like this. So you just want to go around like this on all of your demonettes with the Black Templar and then we'll come back. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thins down lead belcher. I'm going to use this to paint in all of our silver details. So for example, on this lady here, we've got the trim Marama. We've also got a little half moon Slanesh symbol here on the choker as well, like that. In addition, if you're also painting a musician, you've got the whole of the horn there. So all of this section here, like that. 
as well as the chain mail down here. as well. Like so. And in addition to that, if you're painting a banner as well, you've got the large Slaanesh symbol here. like that. So you just want to go around like this and then we'll come back. So with that done you should have some demonettes that look something like this. So yes we've got the two guest stars they are here. I am painting the unit as we speak um, but just demonstrating on the Sergeant Lady Bond. So uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to adding a shade and the shade that we're going to be adding is a roughly six parts contrast medium to one part shayish purple just like before that we did with the skin. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this over the top of all of our black and all of our purple, silver. Just like this. We can also do is we can use this over the top of the weapons as well. Just add a little bit of extra shading in there before we do our final shade on those areas. If you want to as well, you don't have to at this stage. You can add a little bit of it towards the toes as well. Like that. You just want to go around like this with this color and we'll come back. So with that done, what we're now going to do is just going to quickly show you what color to paint that banner. And the color is a roughly two parts apothecary white to one part Magos purple mix. And what you just do is you then paint this very carefully over the top. of the banner, like so. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part black Templar mix. We're going to use this as our final kind of shade and blend color. And well, this is appropriate for this gal as well, but we'll demonstrate here or here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using this kind of thinned down black Templar to add just that little bit extra shade into the weapons. So for example, just on here, we're just going to add it like that. Just like that. Similarly, on the other side, just like that. So it becomes almost like a very th kind of darkish purple without being too dark. Similarly, on this gal, what we do is we take that Black Templar mix and just down the weapon, we add it like this. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on, on our demonette. And as you can see, she's looking pretty awesome. 
or it's looking pretty awesome, I should say. Now, this is what I would call a war hipster battle ready. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take her to the next level. And the color we're going to make is a roughly two parts pallid witch flesh to one part Sinesh gray. And we're going to be using this over the top of the skin. Now, what we want to do is we basically want to just relayer the skin, brightening it right back up with this color on the kind of wide open spaces. Now, this is a very pale color. So it might take a couple of thin coats. Basically what we want to do is we want to just stick to the areas that we've left as just purple. So for example, here on that leg like that, it might look a little bit scratchy, but after two coats, it absolutely won't do. We've got the bum here as well. We've got the leg coming around like so. You just want to go around like this, picking out all of these areas. So we've got the shoulder pad, shoulder pad, just shoulder. We've got the kind of ribs and sinews and tendons and things around here. Of course, we've got the face as well. We just want to pick out all of those areas that we don't want to be kind of a darker shade. So with that done, as you can see, we've got some very nice colored demonettes. And I've also done the same thing on that banner, just on the kind of raised edges on the front. So it's got that little bit of that pinky, pinky shade. And then on the back, I've really layered it up. So it's a lot brighter just because the sun would beat down on the back because it's not as curled. But here we wanted to have a little bit more shade on the front. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to add our final little highlights to all of that skin. And the color is going to be using is just pallid witch flesh on its own. And really what we want to do is we just want to concentrate around the face and around the kind of neck muscles, picking out the sharpest bits. Just like this. And so with that done, you should have a demonette that looks somewhat like this looking pretty flipping awesome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use some thinned down fulgrim pink. I'm going to use this to do a couple of different things. Firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to use this to highlight all the hair, just picking out all of the strands. like that. And then similarly, what we want to do is we want to use tiny amounts of fulgrim pink to just pick out some of the little scales. On their feet. Doesn't have to be all of them. Just like that. We can also pick out areas like the rib sections down here as well. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down Dawnstone. We're going to use this to highlight our black details. We've got the armor, for example, and the tabard. So with those Dawnstone highlights applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Slanesh Grey and we're going to use this to highlight basically the weapons. So what we want to do is we just want to pick out the edges Just like this. And with that done, 
All that's left to do is to highlight that silver and the color we're going to be using is iron hand steel. What we just want to do is just pick out areas like the little rivets and the edges and all that silver. Just like this. And so, here they are then. The demonettes all finished up looking suitably seductive and quite scary <laughs> in equal parts. They are all finished and they look superb. And they were very difficult when figuring them out. But once I'd figured them out, they look absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to paint more for my Legion of Slanesh. I mean, Legion of Bellacore. Yes, it's not just going to be Slanesh Demons, I promise. It might be just Slanesh Demons. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these absolute bosses have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks, just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.